Hey guys, happy Monday, and we're back to Motivational Monday, first of the year. Well, it's not the first, but the first Monday of the year. I put on my community tab last month to have you guys vote on this month's topic, and 55% of you voted for meal planning. So for the month of January, we're going to talk about meal planning. I'm going to give tips, suggestions, um, secrets, um, even a few little tools that can help if you just need that little extra help in that area. As a wife and a mom, you know, we all have that responsibility to, to feed our families for the majority. I know there's some dads out there who take that on and... I guess kudos to you. That's not what I'm used to, and so it's hard for me to kind of relate. Um, I can only speak from my experience and share with you. So there you go. So for the next four Mondays, we're gonna again talk meal planning, and I think that um, each week is going to be a little bit different. I kind of mapped it out. I know what each week is going to entail. I'm not pre-planning. At one point, I was going to pre-film all of them at one time so they would be coherent and co cohesive but I don't want to do that because I want to give you guys opportunity to put in input as well so use that comment section down below if I don't answer any of your questions or if you have questions that you'd like to ask or even suggestions to give definitely use that comment section and let's interact after the video is done you can do it while it's going, but you know, let's keep this conversation going because I think that is one of the best assets we have is just finding, finding like-minded people, finding our tribe and, and going in and learning more about each other and getting suggestions and tips that we might not have even thought about. I was like, what is that noise? I'm hearing water run, dishwasher. So ignore that, please. <laughs> I am getting ready to head out to work. It's back to the Monday grind for everyone, pretty much. The kids have one more day. They will be back in school tomorrow. So for us, this is an important day because it's like, bam, let, let's get focused. A lot of people, it was yesterday. We have just a little bit more time. So today we're going back to basics. <clears throat> That's our topic, back to basics. We've been had some time on the holidays. We've kind of stretched our budgets. We've kind of overextended our budgets at one point. We might have cooked a lot of things we don't normally cook and we just got to regroup in our mind. So the best thing that I find is to go back to basics. My basics might be different than yours. My going back to basics simply means what are those core meals that I know I can make that not only are pretty budget friendly, but everyone likes, there's usually no complaints, and are easy on time. Getting back into the groove takes a little bit of time and energy and sometimes it, it's just difficult to put all those pieces in the puzzle so we just order a pizza or pick up a bucket of chicken on the way home and I'm here to help you try to prevent that and I want to laugh because <laughs> I had something on my menu plan and I was actually gonna make it and share the recipe in Tuesday's video but last night and this morning I decided nope this is the boys last day of winter break so we're probably going to have um, a sandwich from a sandwich shop here in our area. So good, so tasty. The bread is homemade. Um, it's not like a chain restaurant, <clears throat> even though they have a couple in the area. Um, it's not like something you can just get anywhere. So that is just something I'm treating my family with. And I tend to, this is off topic because that's just how I roll. Mondays for me are days that I try to get my family in the groove. I want my family to love Mondays as much as I do. I love Mondays. Mondays are one of my favorite days of the week because everything gets shifted back into groove. It's like the train gets back on its track and it starts to build momentum again. <clears throat> 
by the weekend weekend I'm not saying your train is gonna derail but our train always takes a detour <laughs> and it's okay because that's what weekends are for and I embrace those but Mondays I also embrace because again that train is getting back on track and we're gonna build momentum to get us through the week you know that means clean sheets laundry done a meal everybody loves usually a clean house because I cleaned house the day before um, extra time loving and playing with the pets I just want I've always had that heart for my family to love Mondays because I think if you can love Mondays every other day of the week is a breeze <clears throat> so going back to basics for me is finding recipes that are going back to those core recipes that I know my family loves it might be chicken noodle soup it might be beef stroganoff it might be cheeseburgers on the grill. That's on the menu this week. It might be um, things like that. Things that everybody enjoys, looks forward to, and aren't too hard on the budget. The beginning of the year, most people tighten back in and realize, whoa. Because I don't know about you, but we spend, and I've talked to several of you, we spend more on groceries than we do on our mortgage almost well more I was gonna say double but it's not double um, but it's definitely more on food for this family than we spend on our house mortgage note it's crazy but I am feeding two teenage boys so that kind of, kind of makes that a little bit understandable <clears throat> So you're going to, I want you to make a list of those meals that your family loves. The meals, maybe, maybe your back to basics is meals that get you in and out of the kitchen as fast as possible. Maybe your back to basics is finding meals that everybody in your house can help you prepare that let, you know, get everybody in the kitchen. Maybe your back to basics is um, spending as little as you can on groceries. I don't know what your basics is. My basics is going back to my core meal, my core menu that I know everybody loves, and that I love to prepare. And I am a type of person, and you guys are gonna hear probably a little bit more of this through through the, through the next few months um, as I share in the comfort food um, collab and different things. Bread is a big thing. I, love baking. I love baking bread, rolls, biscuits, cornbread. I like serving bread with our meals, especially supper, because to me it brings it all together. You know, in the Bible it says Jesus is the bread of life, and so I tend to like to add bread. I think bread is an important part of supper, um, especially when you come all together to enjoy a meal. So. Bread is another thing that I like to make sure that I serve at dinner when I'm getting back to basics. For some of you, that may be like, well, forget that. That's extra. Well, I'm a little extra sometimes. That's my normal. <laughs> All right. So once we get back to basics, we figure out what that is for us. Um, we need to see what we have on hand. What do you already have that you can utilize in your meal plan? Do you have meat? Do you have sauces that you might need? Do you have pasta? Do you have rice? Do you have potatoes? Um, do you have enough already on hand to make a few meals where you don't even have to worry about going to the grocery store? Those are the best weeks and I love those weeks. Those weeks usually happen for me though because I have decided to get takeout and not cook what I was going to cook. But again, the, I, I end up cooking what I originally was going to cook just on a different day. It just kind of carries over. And you will see that more through this month as I begin to share some of my own. We're just chit-chatting today. <clears throat> um, the third thing I wanted to say was, I have my little notes, utilize your leftovers. Utilize your leftovers. My voice is a little raspy, but I think it's just because it's still morning. I don't know. I've been up for a couple hours. That should have already worn off, so... Hard in that part too today. Um, you guys know I made the broccoli ham and cheese soup. I used things I had on hand. I could have, 
I could chop up the rest of the ham and I'm going to do that and freeze it in portions so that I can do macaroni and cheese with ham and onions. That is one of our favorite meals, at least me and the boys. The husband eats it and he says he doesn't really enjoy it, but he does like it. So again, just like the soup, it's not his favorite. It's not something he would ask for, but he won't complain because I planned on making that with Caesar salad because that was just really good, but I didn't have the right pasta. So if I freeze my ham now, I can make it over the weekend and guess what we can have? What I had already planned in my head. Whatever. <laughs> um, use those vegetables. I don't know about you, but many of us buy vegetables and then we forget they're in there. Um, in the summertime, this past summer, I really got into prepping our veggies and fruits. The grapes, the strawberries, rinsing them, cutting them, getting them off the off the vine, whatever it was, and they got eaten up a lot better. Um, so when I, anytime I bring celery in the house now, I try to at least put it into um, sticks so that we can munch on them with dip um, for for a snack through the day or pull them out with crackers and cheese and dip and carrots and celery and have a veggie tray. That tends to be our our lunch on um, weekends this time of year because there's a lot of football games and we watch a lot of football as you guys know. <coughs> so utilize those leftovers. Um, maybe you made a pot of beans. Take, take a good cup or two of those beans, put them in a freezer bag, toss them in your freezer. The next time you make, make anything, pork chops, rice, pull out those beans and let that be aside. And you didn't have to cook, you didn't have to open a can of beans, you already had some. You didn't have to um, cook another pot of beans, you already had some. And so honestly, you might even consider making a pot of beans specifically for freezing for leftovers. I'm not big on preparing and freezing foods ahead of time like um, freezer meals because I'd rather just make it fresh and then freeze what's left. To me that makes more sense. Or if I'm making one, go ahead and make two, but I don't usually do that because again, I'd rather just make it fresh. Usually most things don't take very much time. Um, but beans are something that if you utilize a lot of canned beans, a package of dry beans is 10 times cheaper than canned beans. You can buy a whole package, a whole pound of, of dried beans for what you can, one can, one can of cooked beans, and it will give you cups and cups and cups of cooked beans. So those are my tips for today. Go back to basics, know what you have on hand, utilize your leftovers. Start planning this week one meal one meal each day. For me, I honestly plan suppers. That's the meal that we're all together. Whenever I know we're all home, then I tend to plan breakfast, lunch, and supper. So I know what I need to put on hand. I don't necessarily eat, I don't eat breakfast, and I really don't eat lunch a lot of times. So it's not on my radar, but I know that people in my house will eat breakfast and lunch. So I just, on my grocery list, put stuff for them, but start this week planning, planning your suppers or dinners, if you, that's what you call it, um, and stick to it, loosely, and I say that because I'm not sticking to my meal plan. Things happen in life. Sometimes we decide, okay, it's, it's, I want to do this instead. The good thing about using pencil in my planner, it erases why I stopped using pen because then I can move things a little bit easier all right guys I hope if anything you got a little encouragement to go out there and start planning a few meals for your family um, if you have any tips or suggestions on getting back to basics in meal planning definitely leave them down below in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video bye